Welcome and thank you for joining me. This is Laurie of Laurie's Heirloom Sewing and you might be able to tell that I'm just a little bit excited. I got two packages today. This one from England so I know that this is the wool felting kit. I just think it's so cool. First of all they put an E on the end of my name which I don't have and I mean look at this. This is so cool. So anyway, um, we'll be opening that. And then this over here is the other final piece of fabric for the jacket that I'm making for my sister. So let me get my, I can open packages with these scissors because they're old and aren't sharp anymore. This says, part of the divinely different packaging range. It is 100% recyclable and can be recycled at local carrier bag stations. That is so nice. I usually don't know what to do with this kind of thing, so this is good that it can be recycled. And it's pretty. Who doesn't like little blue polka dots, or white polka dots on blue fabric? Or, listen to me. Oh my gosh, never mind. I'm so excited I can hardly talk. So I went to my first open sew today, and it was fun. I was the only person there, but I got to know a couple of the people who work there, and that was really pretty cool. Okay, so it says contents. I'm trying to get my camera, whoops, my camera to focus. Let's see. Contents, it says to wave my hand. Well, that's not really helping, folks. Photo instruction size templates, three felting needles, a felting mat, carded wool fibers, wire, glass eyes, and five logs. Yay! And that is what we will be making. Gosh, I wish it would focus. What? I'll have to work on that. Apparently there's some setting I'm not real good at yet. Maybe if you squint, you'll be able to tell what that is. But anyway, so I I purchased this, like I said, 100%. Um, I paid for the whole thing. Um, there's, you know, they're not sponsoring me. There's nothing. It's just me buying a kit from this delightful company in England. That's, that's the name, Felt and Dandy, all together. They have the cutest little logo with a little pug face. That's adorable. So let's see what we have. Oh, look at the roving. Isn't that gorgeous and it's so soft. Here we must have little bodies, little red breasts, little beaks. Oh, this is just, oh, it's so awesome. I've been dying to touch roving. I haven't been able to. So, okay. I'm not sure what this is for, but we'll figure it out as we go. And then we have our needles. And the eyes are in the end of this tube. There's little tiny glass eyes. And then a smaller version of the um, foam pad that I purchased. And then these, I guess you would trim to make little legs. It's just wire. And then here we have the little logs that they sit on. And then we have several pages of instruction. Um, like a lot, but oh how nice. They're all in color. So we have the contents. Oh wow, very detailed extremely detailed instructions and then this is where you can I've seen this where you can like use this as your pattern as you're making your little um, your little round balls and your wings and and your tail as you're shaping it with the needle so that is going to be an awesomely fun project that we will get into these days I will probably just show one I'm not going to do video of all five 
Um, and whether I decide to show you the very first one as I struggle to learn the process, or the final one where hopefully I have learned how to do it really well, um, I don't know yet. We'll see. I'll probably film both, and then I'll decide which one I plan to put up on YouTube. Okay, this is the fabric that I was waiting for. It's the final piece for the jacket that I will be making for my sister. So all we have left to wait for is the pattern itself. And I got an update. And see, this bag, I don't know if this is recyclable. I have a feeling it isn't. So I'll have to save that and use it for something. Oh, and they sent me a little card. But I bought it on Amazon. This just must be the company that um, sold it. Um, it's cute. There's like a little black and white picture for my three boys.com. That's really sweet. And I love the fabric. So this is all of the fabric that I'm going to use for um, the jacket and the tote bag. I bought enough fabric that I would have enough of each so this is the lining that will go on the inside, and it is 100% cotton flannel, about three yards of that. And then I have this, the horse, tossed horses, that are just kind of gray, gray and white, just kind of running free on a field of, looks like a hound's tooth check in the background there. And then the horseshoes and the stars, and it just kind of gives you the idea that it's kind of horsey fabric. And blue, which is one of her favorite colors. And then I thought, you know, i got to add some yellow or some cream. So I went with a little bit more um, out there kind of fabric. Uh, looks like we've got puppy feet, maybe wolf or coyote, I don't know. And then cowboy boots, horseshoes, um, cowboy hats in a fairly tossed pattern. It doesn't appear that I would have to worry too much about direction, unless I just want to fussy cut for whatever reason. But I bought, um, gosh, was it three yards? I can't remember. I think I bought three yards of all of those. And then yesterday, I did a quick video that I haven't uploaded yet, but I probably will in conjunction with this one. And I was talking about the, um, where did I put it? Uh, when I went to my little open sew class today, I found it because I was looking for my, um, the pieces and parts of the project I wanted to take to sew. And I, aha, here it is. So I, I was talking yesterday about this little guy. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see, it's a cow. And I kind of traced the cow from the applique that came with the pattern for the apron that we made over Christmas. Um, I'll show you that pattern. I don't have the aprons because they were gifts for my daughters. But this is that pattern. It's McCall's number 2947. And it includes a heart applique. And that was the View E that we did. But for this one, for the View G, there's a cow applique that you can put on the pocket. And obviously focusing, let me try to manually see if I can ooh, bring him in. Yeah, there we go. I think you can see it a little bit better now. There's this little cow right there. And it is actually included ooh, okay, in, the, in the pattern. Oh, it's just getting worse and worse and worse and worse. We're coming back into focus. Ooh. I need to find the auto focus button. Let's see if this is one. No. 
Oh, it's just awful. Okay. Well, somewhere on this camera, there's an autofocus button. Is this it? Um, you get to be my guinea pigs today. I'm sorry. Oh, there's got to be something. I seriously got to find a class where I can... I'm, I'm sure I'm just making you nauseous, so I'll stop. In any case, I've completely lost the thread of what I was talking about, except that for that this little applique right here, I'm going to put it on the tote bag because my sister and her husband raise Angus cattle, and um, that's really more of a dairy cow design, but all of her cows are kind of pets, and so even the bull. We have thistle and squash. They're the two bulls, and they're pretty much pets. So how could you not have a little cow on your tote bag with your horse-themed jacket? So I'm really excited about that. I can't wait to share that with you. Um, what I made in my Open Sew class today was... Um, I'll show you another time because I don't want to leave you. I don't know how to pause yet, and I don't want to go off and leave you while I go grab one. I should have had it with me. It's just a little coaster. We've made them before, um, and I made them for me. I haven't made any for me, and I need them. So that's one of the, that's the inspiration for today is make something for yourself. Whether you paint something, or you bake something, or you sew something, or you write something, um, journal, uh, sketch, um, whatever you decide. If you want to paint your fingernails and do fun designs, find something and do it for you. So I will try to get both of these two videos I've done uploaded. We're going to talk about the possibility of me teaching classes in person at the, the place where I went today for my open sew class. And if that becomes a reality, then I will link the class I'm teaching below with permission from that facility, which I haven't gotten yet. It was just a very quick discussion that we had, and um, I don't want to overstep or say something I shouldn't be saying about where it will be held. So, in any case, I hope everybody has a wonderful evening, and since we've got so much coming up on deck, um, I want to be prepared and ready, and um, I hope you are too. Thank you for joining me. If you are enjoying the video content, please hit the like and subscribe button because it really does help. And um, I'm going to try to get better. If you have any suggestions on how to do this video thing, I have a Canon XA, oh, what is it called? <laughs> I got it for Christmas. Uh, it's a... Wow, it's a video camera, XA11, I think that's it, it's a Canon XA11, and I'm still trying to learn, I'm going on YouTube, I'm trying to figure out what they're talking about with settings, and of course, as you know, I am, I have books and books and books on how to edit, and I'm still kind of swallowed up by the whole concept, so any help that you have, I would greatly appreciate, have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you guys back here with a project in hand.